Y'all, it looks like DeBrat's marriage is falling apart and the tea is piping hot. DeBrat just dragged her wife Judy for filth, calling Judy out for being a deadbeat mom and a gold digger. But that's not even the worst part of it because y'all just wait till you hear about these money problems. Y'all, this stuff is getting messier by the minute. We're talking about some serious accusations flying back and forth between these two. DeBrat ain't holding back either and she's spilling all the tea about Judy being a deadbeat mom. Can you believe that? Well, hold on because there's more. It seems that Judy's got some financial troubles too. We're talking about brands flopping and rumors of bankruptcy. Y'all, the tea is scalding. But get this, Judy's feeling all kinds of betrayed and she is fighting back hard. Y'all are ready for this tea that's about to spell because this marriage drama is about to get crazy. So let's rewind this messy drama. Remember when DeBrat and Judy first got together? Well, there's a twist to their whole love story that nobody saw coming. What if Judy wasn't as committed as she seemed? Y'all, the tea on DeBrat and Judy's relationship is getting weird. We thought these two were ride or die from day one, but it looks like they're love story isn't as sweet as they tried to make it seem. Let's spill some piping hot tea about how these two really got together. So DeBrat and Judy's relationship went public back in 2020, but they have been linked since 2017. That's when they met at some kaleidoscope event. Yeah, that's Judy's hair company that she's always been pushing. Get your edges right, ladies. But here's where it gets even juicier. Turns out Judy wasn't all in from the start. Word on the streets is that Judy actually left DeBrat at one point to go back to some man that she was with before. Can you believe it? Here's the brat thinking that she found her soulmate and Judy's out here playing musical chairs with her love life. Girl, make up your mind. Well, this is what got people wondering about Judy's past relationships. Seems like she's got a whole history of putting her career before her kids. Now, I'm not one to judge, but it does make folks question if she's really all about that love and family life with the brat or if there's something else going on. But y'all, it gets even messier. You know how the Brad and Judy had that big, beautiful wedding, right? Well, some sources are saying that they aren't even legally married. Apparently, that ceremony was just for show. No paperwork was involved. It seemed like they were giving business transactions, not real love. But speaking of business, let's talk about why Judy might have been so keen on locking the Brad down. Some folks are saying that Judy's always seen the Brad as a way to boost her own brand. I mean, think about it. Judy gets with her famous rapper. Suddenly, she's all over social media and her hair products are getting even more attention. Coincidence? Maybe not. All this drama going on got people looking at Judy all kinds of sideways. Was she ever really into DeBrat or was this all just a big show for the cameras? And what about all those kids Judy had before she met DeBrat? Seems like there's a whole lot of history between Judy that she's been keeping under wraps. Now we all thought that Judy was just about doing her hair business kaleidoscope, but there's more to the story. What if her entire relationship with the brat was just another product she was trying to sell? Are y'all sitting down yet? Because listen, it looks like Judy's carefully crafted her image, but listen up, cause it's about to get even messier. We've been talking about the brat and Judy's relationship drama, but now we're diving deep into some real shady business. People are starting to question if Judy's feelings for the brat were ever genuine, or if this whole relationship was just a big old publicity stunt. But let's break it down. Remember all those fancy gifts Judy was always giving to Brad? Cars on cars. Well, some folks are saying it wasn't just out of love, no. They're saying Judy was trying to buy her way into the spotlight. It's like she saw Brad as her golden ticket to fame and fortune. There's talk going around that Judy might not even be into women for real. Can y'all believe that? Well, some of her exes are out here swearing that Judy's about as straight as an arrow. So why would she go and marry a woman? Well, y'all, it all comes back to that fame and fortune dollar signs. Think about it, Judy gets with the brat, the so-so deaf rapper, and suddenly she's all over the media, her hair products are getting more attention. Coincidence? I don't think so. It's like Judy saw the brat as her personal billboard, and she was ready to do whatever it took to keep that ad space. And y'all, it gets even shadier. Remember that big proposal Judy did for the brat? People are saying it might have been more about business than love. Some folks think that Judy was just trying to cash in on that LGBTQ support. Talk about using love to make a buck. But y'all, 
there's more, of course. DeBrat's family wasn't buying that Judy was selling from the start. DeBrat's sister, Lisa Ray, was giving Judy the side eye from day one. It's like she could see right through all of Judy's sweet talk and fancy gifts. Makes you wonder where Lisa Ray knew that the rest of us didn't. Now, I'm not saying Judy's some kind of evil genius or a long con person, but when you look at everything together, it sure does paint a picture. It's like Judy saw DeBrat as her chance to level up in life and she wasn't about to let it slip away. But here's the thing that's got everybody talking. If Judy was just using DeBrat this whole time, why is she acting all shocked and hurt now? Listen, if you was playing games from the start, what did you think was gonna happen? Well, hold up, wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished. Judy wasn't exactly mom of the year. DeBrat's been spilling some tea that's got everybody questioning Judy's parenting skills. So remember how Judy's always posting these cute pictures with True on social media. Well, turns out that might just be for show. The brat's out here exposing Judy for being a deadbeat mom. Not just to True, but her other kids too. Yeah, you heard me. Judy's got three other kids before she even met DeBrat. But here's the kicker. Apparently, she wasn't there for them either. It's like, girl, you got some type of pattern going on here. But DeBrat allegedly isn't holding back. She's calling Judy out for not being there for her kids while she was building her empire. But we gonna get to that tea in a second. According to an insider, DeBrat and Judy have been fighting a lot over simple things, especially when it comes to their son, True. I'm talking simple random fights over things like who gets to strap you in the car seat. The insider added that Judy seems determined to call all the shots when it comes to parenting and DeBrat isn't having it because she thinks it's all for show because Judy isn't all that interested in her son. But get this, Judy's all over social media showing off her mom skills with True. But some folks are saying it's all for show and they're calling it performative parenting. Like are you really being a good mom or are you just trying to look like one for the gram? But here's where it gets real interesting. Remember how Judy admitted she wasn't there for her kids while she was building her business? Well, according to her, she's trying to make up for it with True. It's like she's overcompensating, trying to prove that she could be a good mom this time around. And y'all, the Bratz family saw all through Judy's act from the start. They were giving her the side eye from day one. Makes you wonder what they knew. Now, I'm not saying Judy's a bad person, but when you look at everything together, it sure does paint a picture. It's like Judy's been playing games with everybody. The Brad, her kids, even her fans. And now it's all coming to bite her right back in that big old rotund booty. But if you thought that this was the end of the drama, well, it's about to get worse. Y'all remember when Judy flashed all that cash about living large? Well, it looks like her empire might be crumbling faster than a sandcastle in a hurricane. We've been spilling tea about Judy's messy love life and questionable parenting, but listen, that's just the appetizer. The main course is all about Judy's financial hot mess, and trust me, it's juicy. So word in the streets is that Judy's brands are flopping hard. You know, all those hair products she's always pushing. Well, turns out they might not be selling like hotcakes after all. People are saying her business is tanking faster than the Titanic and she's drowning in debt. But y'all, it gets worse. There's talk going around that Judy might be facing bankruptcy. Can you believe that? This woman who's always been showing off her designer duds and fancy cars might be broke. It's like she went from Gucci to Goodwill overnight. But here's the kicker. Some folks are saying that Judy's been depending on DeBrat to make ends meet. Remember how Judy was always bragging about being the boss babe and a self-made millionaire? Well, it looks like that might have been all talk and no walk. And some people are saying that DeBrat's been the one keeping the lights on this whole time. Like y'all know DeBrat is not nobody's fool. She's been in the game long enough to know how to protect her coins and with all this divorce drama going down, DeBrat might be leaving Judy high and dry. There's talk that DeBrat's falling for divorce and child support, which could leave Judy even more broke than she already is. But let's rewind for a second. How did Judy go from flaunting her wealth to potentially filing for bankruptcy? Well, some folks are saying that Judy's been living way beyond her means. All these designer clothes and fancy vacations and lavish gifts for DeBrat, yeah, it turns out she might have been charging it all to the credit card and hoping her businesses would cover the bill. But speaking of those businesses, it looks like they might have been more smoke and mirrors than actual money makers. People are saying that Judy's been borrowing and taking out loans to keep her companies afloat. But now the chickens are coming to roost and Judy's facing a mountain of debt. Now I know what y'all are thinking. If Judy's that broke, 
Why was she always acting like she was rolling in dough? Well, some folks are saying it was all part of her plan to keep DeBrat interested. Remember how we talked about Judy possibly using DeBrat for fame? Well, it looks like she might have been using her for money too. And let's not forget about baby True and all this mess. Because if Judy's really going broke, how's that gonna affect their son? Some people are saying that's why DeBrat's going hard for that child support. She wants to make sure True's taken care of, even if Judy can't afford to keep up appearances anymore. But let's talk about the elephant in the room. Everybody's been wondering if DeBrat and Judy's love was real or just for show. Well, we've got some tea that might make you question everything you thought about this power couple. It's time to dig deep into the truth behind DeBrat and Judy's marriage. We've been talking about their drama, their money troubles, and all that mess with the kid. But what if I told you their whole relationship might have been one big lie from the start? Let's break it down. Remember all those fancy gifts Judy was giving to DeBrat, right? The cars, the jewelry, the trips. Well, some folks are saying it wasn't just about love. They're saying that Judy was trying to buy DeBrat's affection. It's like she thought she could keep DeBrat happy by throwing money at her. But we all know that's not how real love works, right? It, but it gets messier. You know how DeBrat's a first time mom of baby true, right? But word in the streets is that Judy's been stealing her thunder. Instead of letting DeBrat enjoy that new mom glow, Judy's been all up in her business trying to take over. Because remember when DeBrat and Judy were trying to have a baby? That whole process was hard. Judy went through some serious health issues during the IVF process and we're talking blood clots, her lungs, hospital stays, the whole nine yards. And that kind of stress can put a real strain on any relationship, let alone one that might have been shaggy to begin with. But all that kind of stuff does seem like love. I know what you might be thinking, but they seem so happy at first. And you're right, they did. But you know how it goes, the honeymoon phase always comes to an end. And for DeBrad and Judy, it looks like that phase might have ended faster than we knew. Some fans are already whispering that the honeymoon's over and reality is setting in very hard. Because when you look at all this together, it kind of paints that pretty clear picture. Judy's lavish gifts, her need to be in control, the way she's always overshadowing their brat, it all adds up to something that looks a lot more like a business deal than true love. It's like Judy saw the brat as her ticket to fame and fortune, and she was willing to do whatever it took to keep her on the hook. But y'all know what goes around comes back around. And now that all this mess has come into light, the streets are saying that Judy's acting all shocked and hurt, like she never saw it coming. But let's not forget about the brat and all this, she's been through a lot too. From coming out later in life to becoming a mom for the first time at an older age, she's had a lot on her plate. And instead of having a supportive partner by her side, it looks like she got stuck with somebody who was more interested in what she could do for them than in actually being there for her. And just when you thought the drama couldn't get any crazier, the brat's about to drop a bombshell that'll turn everything upside down. What if I told you she's not just walking away, but she's coming for everything? That's right, allegedly the brat's making moves that'll leave Judy shook. We're talking about custody battle that's getting messy. The brat's not playing around. She's filing for custody of her true and demanding child support from Judy. Can you believe that? The save is a turn and Judy's about to get a taste of her own medicine. And the streets are saying that Judy's acting all shocked and hurt through this whole mess. And Judy's reaction to this latest move is something else. Remember how we were talking about Judy's money troubles? Well, now it looks like she's trying to fight for custody of her true too. People are saying that it's not just about being a mama, it's about getting her hands on the brat's money. Seems like now that Judy's broke, she's looking for a way to keep that cash flowing. This custody battle is shaping up to be messy. Allegedly, the brat's trying to come in with custody, Judy's trying to get custody, but is this the final nail in the coffin of their relationship or is there still a chance they could work things out? I mean, stranger things have happened in Hollywood, right? But with all this bad blood between them, it's hard to see how they could ever go back to being one big happy family. Let's not forget about how little True and all this. He's caught in the middle of her mama's drama. The brat's fighting to make sure True's taken care of even if it means going head to head with Judy in court. And Judy, well, she's trying to hold on to True like she's her last lifeline to the good life. But there's another thing that's got everybody talking. If Judy is really as broke as people are trying to say, how's she gonna afford this custody battle? Cause legal fees, they're not cheap, y'all. Some folks are saying this might just be Judy's last desperate attempt to keep living that luxury lifestyle she's gotten used to. But if DeBrat wins, Judy might find herself having to get a real job for the first time in years. But speaking of jobs, what's going to happen to all the Judy's businesses? You know the ones that are supposedly flopping harder than a fish out of water. If she loses the custody battle and has to pay child support, that might be the final push that sends her empire 
crumbling down for good. Now, I'm not saying that the Bratz move is gonna be easy because custody battles are never pretty. And this one's shaping up to be uglier than most. But you gotta admit, it's kind of satisfying to see the Bratz setting up for herself and her baby. And everything Judy's put her through, can you blame her for wanting to take back control? Y'all, this the Brad and Judy drama is wilder than a roller coaster, but here's the wild idea. What if this whole mess is just a big old PR publicity stunt? I mean, these people are doing everything these days just for a little bit of attention. I mean, the Brad's got an album coming out. Oh yeah, y'all didn't know, she got a whole album coming out. Do you know how these celebs try to stir up drama right before they drop something new? It's like they just think we can't see through their games. Well, fans have been all over clocking the tea, commenting, Judy ain't ready for Debrat. When she gets mad, especially behind her baby True, he is Debrat's world. I know Judy didn't say Debrat made her broke. Judy is a user and isn't a mama. She's a mother because she gave birth to three children, yet raised zero. Judy knew she wasn't going to stay with Brad. Judy spent up the money, obviously, and didn't take her business seriously. She was never at work and misused her good friend who ran the business. Shaking my head. And... I just hate this for Brad. She don't deserve this. But I got to know what y'all think about this. Do you think that they're really breaking up or is this just a PR stunt? And if it is true, who's gonna get custody of true? Drop your thoughts in comments below and then check out this next video.